also said that the country was proud of the valor and patriotic spirit of the soldiers. He urged all to continue to work hard to ensure security both on the line of control and in the hinterland. Rajnath Singh also impressed upon the commanders to maintain strict vigil along the line of control and remain prepared to give a befitting reply to any misadventure by the adversary. The Raksha Mantri also complimented everyone for great synergy and close coordination amongst the security forces and government agencies towards bringing back normalcy in the region and lauded their work in ensuring peace and security in Jammu and Kashmir. Raksha Mantri will visit Amarnath Cave Shrine today. The world is running against time to develop the COVID-19 vaccine. Major global pharmaceutical giants are engaged in the campaign with feverish pace. One of the major pharmaceutical powerhouses in the world, India, is also actively engaged in developing the vaccine. Two vaccines being developed in India have been given approval for human trials by the DGCI. Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has said that the fight against COVID-19 has entered a decisive phase as the human trials of Indian vaccine begin. He tweeted, Human trials of Indian vaccine begin. The fight against COVID-19 is now in decisive phase. Efforts to develop a corona vaccine for the past many months start giving positive signs. We will soon win the war against this pandemic. Dr. Harshwardhan further shared that the initial trials on humans did not have any side effects. The trial will be in two phases and is being done at 14 research institutes. The emphasis remains on safety and screening. The ICMR scientists are keeping a constant vigil on the developments. DGCI has permitted two vaccines to go in for the first and second phase of human clinical trials. One vaccine is developed by the Bharat Biotech International Limited in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research. The other vaccine is being developed by Zydus Kadila Healthcare Limited. The two Indian vaccine candidates have undergone successful toxicity studies in rats, mice and rabbits. This data was submitted to the DGCI, following which both got clearance to start an early phase human trial. Human clinical trials for co-vaccine have been initiated across the country in 375 volunteers, including three at Rohtak's Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences. The three persons have shown no adverse side effect. हम सबके लिए हरियाणा में और पूरे देश में ये एक बहुत अच्छी खबर है कि एक कोविड की बीमारी जिसके लिए कोई रोकथाम के लिए अभी तक कोई वैक्सीन नहीं बना है उसके लिए भारत में भी इसकी शुरुआत हो गई है और शुरू में अभी तीन संस्थानों के अंदर इसका ह्यूमन ट्रायल शुरू हो गया है जिनमें पीजीएमएस रोहतक एक है बायोटेक द्वारा निर्मित कोरोना की वैक्सीन को वैक्सीन का आज ह्यूमन ट्रायल रोहतक पीजीआई में आरंभ किया गया आज तीन लोगों को वो दवा देकर देखी गई है और उनका कोई भी नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट देखने को नहीं मिला है All India Institute of Medical Sciences Delhi will start human trials of Covaxin from Monday this will be the biggest center for the Covaxin trials in the nation under the constant watch of ICMR, 100 volunteers would be part of the trials at the nation's premier medical institute. People can register to become volunteers by either dialing the number 0742884749 or dropping an SMS at the same number. They can also email at ctaims.covid19 at gmail.com. Nearly two dozen possible COVID-19 vaccines are in various stages of testing around the globe. Candidates from US, China and Britain's Oxford University are also entering the final testing stages. Indian-born UK citizen Deepak Paliwal became a household name in India and the UK after he volunteered for the human trials of the Oxford vaccine. Around the world, governments are investing in stockpiles of hundreds of millions of doses of...